Time to sharpen some more. Last week, I did a live stream where I sharpened one side of this. Uh, but I've gotten some comments uh, that people don't like the live streams as much. They like the more edited videos. So I'm going to sharpen the other side. But just in case you did see the live stream, we're going to keep it all new because I'm going to make her do it. Okay. It's not that sharp. It only cuts paper really well. Okay. I did not watch the live stream. So this will be new to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, no one tell her how much hammering and blood this makes. So this is the finish, Judge? Yeah, you might not want to run your finger on that. So this is not like steel. So with steel, you can, you can quench it and heat treat it and do some other stuff. What this does, uh, there are some aluminum bronze alloys that you can do that. But I eyeballed the alloy on this, like hardcore, so I have no idea how you would heat treat this properly. Okay. But uh, all metals, especially aluminum bronze, will work harden. That means the more you bend or try to compress while it's cold, it will get a lot harder. So mm -hmm. we're going to take this hammer and we're going to hit along the edge with the edge sitting on this railroad track. So we got hardened steel hitting nice hard railroad track, and where you hit, Underneath that impact will be much harder than, say, here, which has never been hit. Edge holding edge, like sharpness holding edge, and a crack resistant center spine. So that's what we're going to do. Basically, right. we harden the edge of the hammer first, then we use a file that's over there to sharpen it. Okay, so here's, here's basically how I was doing it. I was laying this edge down, mm -hmm. and I was just working up with the pick hammer. As close to the edge as possible. If you get too far this way, it's not going to help the edge where it holds an edge. And if you hit this, obviously that doesn't do jack. Okay. And then when you get all the way to the end, flip it over, do the other side. You How know? often did you hit yourself? Uh, no comment. I thought I thought just hammering with this edge was going to screw up the look. Uh -huh. And then I realized you file it off anyway, so who really cares? Oh, okay. Three, two, one, go. Here goes nothing. Oh. So how do I know to move on to the next part? If you look close and it's just covered in dings all over, uh -huh. keep going. Put these on. Thank you for letting me know now. It's, it was only a minor hearing damage so far. Minor. You don't need all of your hearing. So is it normal that I'm seeing like flakes coming off? Maybe the alloy is a little brittle. Just keep going, I suppose. Maybe hit a little softer. Flipping it over. Okay. How did you hold it when you flipped it over like this? Uh, very challenging, yeah. Got it all? Looks pretty much like you dinged the crap out of the entire thing, which is what you're supposed to do in this situation. Okay, so the next part is the Fine. file. And files, very uh -huh. important, uh, don't drag the file. Just push, pick up. Also, aluminum bronze, I, this might be something that gums up files. I really don't know. But a trick that Chirpy told me was WD-40. Helps if you actually hit the file. <laughs> and that will help the, the chips not plug up in the file. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Man, this is way easier just being the cameraman. <laughs> I'm not ruining it, am I? Well, if you screw up the file, I can buy a new one. It's going to be pretty tough to screw up the railroad track. I'm worried And this, this knife thing is just for show, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, you're not doing pointless labor. Ignore me. Do I get compensation? Of course not. This isn't a job. I'm using my precious time. Yeah. Doing a pointless thing. Oh, it definitely has a point on it. We tested during the live stream. I can jab the point right into the bench. Flip it or okay, so flip it around and start doing the other side. Uh -huh. And you'll see that this edge has a thickness to it. Uh -huh. And you want it to get more like an edge like here. Uh -huh. Not this still has a thickness. I did a bad job. 
but this is an edge. So with blades, there's a there's an angle. So you can have the sharpness of the edge itself, but also the the angle of the edge can be thicker or thinner. And since a lot of things are sharpened with rotating stuff, you'll end up with like a curved bevel. Uh -huh. So you can end up with a thicker thing with a sharper point. That's how a lot of razor blades are, so they can they can sharpen. Mm -hmm. However, like a lot of swords are like this. So it's more of a knife angle, like a thick, uh, not obtuse, it's still an acute angle, but a much, much thicker sort of edge on it. Mm -hmm. And that's probably what we're going to have to end up with here. So it's not going to be as great for shaving or like slicing through really thin stuff, but if you hit something and move, it'll still cut into it. It'll definitely cut the paper. Yeah, well, and the reason we're using a file for this and not something like an angle grinder, which is one of my favorite ways to grind stuff, uh -huh. is because the angle grinder heats up whatever you're grinding. Uh, you don't want this heating up? Right, so work hardening, bashing it with a hammer makes it harder. Heating it up once it's work hardened softens it again. Ah. So we don't want to soften it. We want to do all of this at cold temperatures. Now there are ways to use a power tool to file it. Like there's there's wet stones and there's also like big rotating grinding stones uh, that don't rotate as fast as an angle grinder or they're covered in oil or something to keep it cool. I have none of those. I have this file. I hope I'm doing a decent job here. No one's cringing watching me doing this. Well, if you screw up, I'll take it out of your pay. What pay? <laughs> yeah, so it's coming along nice. For whatever reason, the tip is really thick on this. I think that was uh, because this was two pieces of printed plastic that I glued together that I used to cast to make the, the mold. The tip kind of spread apart, so there's a little extra mass there at the tip. Uh, but that's all the better for stabbing. Should I spray with W40? Sure. Wiped it off because it looked like... Ugh. It was covered in gold and glitter, like we're some kind of fancy rich place. Ooh. But we're the poor kind of fancy rich place, where instead of putting gold flakes in the drinking water, yeah. we put brass in it or aluminum. You know, oh. I never understood fancy like places. Like, I don't know if you guys seen, but there is this ice cream that's like really expensive. And one of the things ingredients go on, it's gold flakes. Just because. The ritziest way to get heavy metal poisoning. Like why? You know? Because they can. More ridiculous, I saw another one where you can take a pill that'll make you poop gold. Literally flushing money down the toilet, is that what they want to do? Pointless money wasting because they have money yeah what well, they, they should spend their money on tools that they don't use a lot yeah yeah chainsaw file imperfect one you know one where the blade is not straight <laughs> sure criticize my work see what i have to live with a beautiful woman how terrible you know in modern day nowadays when, when they're doing this repetitive task they could turn on music or podcast or something to listen to, right? But in the in the past, I wonder how they did it without going crazy in their head. They probably had the old-fashioned podcast. What, a, people talking? A guy sitting there talking to you. <laughs> is it a weapon? What is a weapon? Is a weapon a weapon when it's used as a weapon? Because, see, I got a pocket knife. And I don't think that's a weapon. The way I define a weapon is its only sole purpose is violence. Okay. You know, but it, a tool, like a hammer, is a tool. You use it to make something, you know? But you but can you, also bash someone's face in. But you can also make something with it. So like a knife can be a work tool, or you can stab someone. But like a sword is a little more of a weapon because you're not going to like open boxes with it or cut your steak with it. Pretty Suppose sure. you could, but it would be really weird. Pretty sure when they made swords, their purpose was to make, to use it in war. Okay, where do you fall on the bow and arrow? Bow and arrow? Because that's clearly meant to shoot stuff, but you can shoot animals that you can eat. Same for a like gun, it. I guess. Well, Homer Simpson gun. even used a gun to turn off the lights in his house. So it was kind of a tool. 
when gun was first created, was it for war or was it for hunting? I suspect it was for war because they suck too much to shoot an animal. Ah. It was for like multiple people to shoot at multiple other people. It was like the early guns were terrible. Yeah. But if you had a hundred people shooting them at a hundred other people, they were pretty awesome. Early gun would have been terrible for hunting because he would shoot once and he would just sit there. Yeah, you would like you'd like powder. shoot and the thing, the ball would just like hook in a random direction and the deer would look at you like you're an idiot and then just run away. And, then you'd, and sit you'd sit there, there like 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 pouring in the powder and like tamping it down and the old ones didn't even have the flint lock. You had to like hold a burning piece of twine into a hole to shoot them. Okay then, a spear. If hunting animals counts as a tool, people all over the world hunted animals with spears, and some people still do. Is a spear a tool? A knife can be a tool and a weapon, but a sword is kind of a weapon-only kind of blade, right? So, since you did anthropology and archaeology, did people during like the Stone Age, when they were more of a hunter-gatherer, are there any evidence that murder happened? Yes. And battle happened between people? Yes. But did they use like a different thing or did they use like... People have tried to kill each other since there were people. Well, that's true. But did they like kill people with tools? No, I imagine whatever you got's gonna work. I mean, projectiles have been around a long time. Even like our shoulder, like the human shoulder joint, uh -huh. can throw a ball really fast and very accurately. Way, way better than a chimp, and chimps are really, really strong. But there's no chimp pitcher in Major League Baseball. Impossible. The chimp, a, a run-of-the-mill standard mediocre chimp, could rip a pitcher's arm off, but he could not throw the ball. Have they tried? Teaching Ripping an arm off? No, teaching a chimp to throw a ball. Yeah, they, they do, like, underhand. They can't do overhand? Not really. Why not? Their, their shoulder joint is arranged differently. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. They're designed to hang upside down, like hang on branches, not overhand throw anything. What about apes? Can apes throw? Chimps are apes. Okay, primates? So are people. Chimps are primates. No way. So what am I thinking? <laughs> when you say, what about gorillas? They're apes. Okay. Isn't there a different... <laughs> this is way off topic, people. <laughs> way off topic. This is mindless task. <laughs> Way off topic, what makes apes different from monkeys, oh, yeah, monkeys. among many things, oh. is our hands. Monkeys walk on top of branches. Apes hang on branches, called brachiation. And if you see a chimp's hand bones, they're curved. So they're like, uh. Humans are different. We walk on our feet. We don't climb on junk. So our hands... While still, if you rip the skin off and look at bone for bone, it's very much an ape hand, uh, especially dexterity and strength. We don't have the big, thick, uh, curved bones or the arm muscles to hang on stuff. Not, not as much, but we definitely have ape-like hands. Don't they also like walk on their knuckles? Yeah, when they're walking, they walk on their knuckles uh, because they, they don't do like flat on the hands. One thing we have, even more dexterity, I don't think a chimp can do this. They can't touch their pinkies? They can't touch their thumb to their other fingertips. Hmm. We have much better dexterity. I think the one of the only other animals with such good dexterity is like a raccoon. Okay, back to sharpening. No more talk. That looks very sharp. Okay, the rest of it's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Since this is covered in filings and it takes a long t the the file really doesn't like biting into this. So what's the next step? Well, that's sharp. The next step is testing it. Box. So which one did you do? Now, remember I said this is really thick? It's not going to slice as nicely as a steel knife because it's, it's like a quarter inch thick in the middle. Oh my god. But it still kind of does. So here's what we're going to try. It's more of a sawing motion. Oh. It seems to saw pretty good. It'll definitely cut through envelopes. Yeah. Most elaborate letter opener ever. What about the handle? Can we just do something about the handle? I'm thinking of the handle. Uh -huh. Flattening this down with an angle grinder. Uh -huh. And then trying to glue stuff on and wrap it in leather. Like wood? Are you going to keep Maybe. it this long? No, I'm going to definitely cut that off. Okay. Final test. Wouldn't that ruin the edge? 